Pete, North Las Vegas. Um, we've got this M4 apart. We're cleaning it, doing some routine maintenance, and seeing how it's a brand new rifle. I'm inspecting everything. Uh, I did find one issue so far, and if, if we find more, we'll certainly let you know. On the edge of that extractor, there was a sliver of metal that was hanging on, and that sliver of metal was wedged inside the, uh, the bolt pocket. And I don't know if that was affecting anything, but I tried uh, moving that that sliver back and forth with my finger to see if I could get it off, and uh, I, I couldn't get it off, and I ended up having to take a file and some sandpaper to clean it up. So I'm getting ready to blow it just to give it a little bit of protection. Now, did this affect anything on the ejection? I don't know. Um, probably not. The other thing was, when I first put this rifle together and took the bolt apart to clean it, I noticed that it did not have an O-ring. So I thought, well, I'll just run it without an O-ring. I've never ran an AR without an O-ring, so let's just see what it does. So does that O-ring affect uh, extraction? Yeah, I, I think it does. Uh, was it a problem? No, I don't think it was. But anyway, I'm going to put the O-ring on. Uh, Wilson Combat sends their, their BCGs with one extra O-ring, but with this bolt carrier, I got two O-rings. So I think that they just didn't put it on. But anyway, that's that's what we found so far. Um, I've also looked at the back of the bolt lugs. And I didn't put too many rounds through it today, but there's no signs that this thing was under any kind of stress locking or unlocking. Um, all the bolt lugs look really good. Uh, everything about the BCG is fine, except for that, that sliver I found on the, on the edge of the uh, extractor. Okay, so I just cleaned this barrel and you can see the pieces of bore brush stuck between the muzzle device, the A2 compensator, and the front of the barrel. And I, I have never seen that before. I've never seen that happen before. So, uh, wow. All right, we'll get some compressed air and we'll, we'll figure out how to get that stuff out of there. I think I put maybe 20 rounds this thing today. Um, let's take a look at the gas port. Gas port looks good. A little bit of copper in front of it. Not bad. These are the lands. They look pretty good. Chamber looks good. All right. I'm gonna see if I can get compressed air and blow all the, uh, the brush stuff out of there. If not, I may have to take this off to get it clean. I've never seen that before. All right, let's see if we can get all that bore brush stuff out of there. All right, so I got it all out of there except for one little piece. Right there, you little son of a gun. Like I said, I have never seen this happen before where a bore brush got stuck in between the... Uh, the A2 compensator in the end of the barrel. Well, something else I'll be checking every time I I clean my rifles. Like, what the hell? All right, I'll get that out. Okay, so this is the last thing we're gonna do today. Um, when I had the rifle out test firing it, uh, it was a little bit rambunctious. The uh, ejection pattern was somewhere usually around 1, 1.30. And when I went to a different type of ammunition, I, it got down to about 2 o'clock, but still seemed like it was uh, running a little too hot. So I thought I had an H2, but I do have an H. So we're going to put the H in here, and then the next time we get it out, we'll see if uh, that slows it down a little bit and, and gets the carbine calmed down. 
Okay, well, that's it for today. And like I said, uh, all that leftover bore brush in between the, the muzzle and, and the barrel, that was, uh, that was a new one for me. Pete in North Las Vegas, over and out.